Hi. Well, today I've got an interesting little revolver to show you. But first, a little cautionary me uh, message. Well, since uh, YouTube and uh, the Google goons seem to think that uh, firearms videos are somehow evil, I thought I'd throw that in there. Probably won't help, probably tick them off a little bit, but so what, they deserve to be ticked off a little bit. And if they want to demonetize me for making fun of them, so be it. <laughs> anyway, what I've got for you today is a hand-engraved Smith & Wesson Model 60. Now the Model 60 is a, a stainless steel version of the Model 36 Chief Special, it's 5 shot 38. This is one of the early Model 60s. No dash. Serial number dates it to uh, 1974. And like I said, this has got hand engraving on it. And it's probably factory engraving, but there's no way to tell that without, uh, for sure, without getting a factory letter. And maybe not even then, because a lot of guns were not engraved at the factory and then shipped. Uh, a lot of them were sent back to the factory to be engraved, so that wouldn't show up in a factory letter anyway. Also has real stag grips on it not plastic fake ones just in general a very nice little barbecue gun <laughs> around here we call uh, fancy guns barbecue guns dress up guns or show off guns something you show to your friends and neighbors to uh, try to impress them <laughs> or maybe you're like me and you just like uh, fine firearms now this particular gun came from uh, the collection of a local guy that uh, passed away just this past December and I really doubt if his uh, family would really object to me uh, using his name in the video but since I didn't specifically ask I'm not going to name drop any of the local gun enthusiasts that happen to see this uh, video will know who I'm talking about. He was a very high-end collector, mainly with Winchesters. But he also collected a lot of other type of guns. And uh, For me, a gun like this uh, would be towards the high end of my collection. For him, this would have been one of the low-end guns that he owned. doesn't really look like it's ever it, it's probably been fired but extremely little you can see a little discoloration here around the forcing cone but truthfully that could be from the factory test firing like I said see if we can get all this uh, engraving to show up here Just in general, a really nicely done job. And it could be that uh, this gun was engraved by uh, an independent uh, engraver. But just judging by other uh, factory engraved guns that I've seen, I would say this is probably uh, done by the Smith & Wesson factory. And it is, you can tell it is hand engraving. It's not done by a machine or anything like that. If you look at the stuff that's been uh, engraved uh, with a CNC uh, mill or a laser or something like that, the engraving looks quite different.
But anyway, I just thought that I would uh, make a quick little uh, video here to show this thing off. Normally, if I add something to the collection, I just uh, kind of save it to put in the queue of, uh, of videos. Um, since I retired, I've been making videos way ahead of time. I think right now I've got stuff uh, uploaded and scheduled clear into July of 2025. But this one here was just one that I wanted to show off uh, almost immediately here, so... Uh, just thought I would uh, make a little extra video uh, and slip it in uh, amongst the stuff that's already uh, uploaded. Just to show it off a little bit. Well, thanks for watching.